Good morning, everybody, and thank you for coming to the Today's Restaurant News Networking Group. Today is May the 3rd. Do you believe we're in May already? Uh, this is uh, I'm Howard Appel. I'm the founder and publisher of Today's Restaurant News, and we are a group of vendors who are here to help each other grow our businesses and to also help restaurant owners, managers, chefs, if they have any issues or questions. Mm -hmm. Uh, feel free to give us a call and ask if you'd like to attend as well. Give us a call at 561-620-8888 or go to our website at trnusa.com. And on our website now, we have a tab that will allow you to click on that and take you right to our YouTube channel that has uh, well over 300 videos on it. So, uh, today we have a special speaker, Jordan Silverman, one of our members. Uh, and uh, Jordan, I'm gonna let you start us out. Take it away, do you need to share the screen at all? Uh, yeah, that'd be great, thank you. Uh, hi everyone. Good to see you again. Happy Friday. Hope everyone's looking forward to uh, the weekend as much as I am. So I am the CEO and co-founder of Starfish. I've been in the restaurant industry, I guess, I worked as a line cook throughout college. So I guess I go all the way back to then, but I've been doing restaurant technology for the last eight or nine years. And about a year ago, about eight, eight nine months ago, we started Starfish. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to talk a little bit about what Starfish does um, and then kind of give you a quick demo and happy to answer any questions. Can everyone see my uh, slideshow? Okay. Yep. Cool. So here at Starfish, what we're trying to build is a 24-7 restaurant controller using AI. So we work with companies from one location all the way up to 50, 60 locations. So the problem that we're trying to solve, and I think we all know this is like, restaurants don't analyze their books. A lot of times they get Excels from external bookkeepers. Sometimes they read them, sometimes they don't read them. But most of the time what happens is they get data and they don't really know what to do with it. And what that's led to is far too many restaurants closing, far too many restaurants not growing like they should. And if you think about nowadays, the huge chains dominate the landscape like they never had before. And what we're really trying to do is give independent and small chains access to tools that have never been possible before. So here's a little quote from one of our customers. I thought it was very fitting. She said, I know I overspend, but I don't dig in to see where or how I can improve. And that's really what we're trying to do is dig into the numbers to show where and how to improve. Um, so what does it actually do? So we integrate into accounting systems, QuickBooks, Euro, Restaurant 365, et cetera. And we pull out your P&L and then we do two major things. Number one, really simple and clear reporting. And then number two, we actually analyze the books for you. And we give tasks on a weekly, bi-weekly, monthly basis. However, However often you want, we will actually give you tasks that show you how to lower costs and increase profits. I'm going to walk through some examples, but I'll tell a quick story. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we had a customer where they got a task from Starfish, and these are automated tasks. They get a task from Starfish that their uniform supplier had increased their uniform rates, and they had no idea. The uniform provider never told them. They just increased the rates at their locations. Starfish gave them a task and said, hey, your uniform rates went up. Here are the dates it went up. Here's how much it went up. Go reach out to your provider. They reached out to the provider. They got a $2,000 check in the mail, lower rates, and payment terms, all from a single, simple Starfish task. We're really trying hard to help make an actual impact, not just in terms of time savings, but also in terms of bottom line. All right, um, wanted to do a quick case study and then I'm gonna actually dive into the actual platform. So this is one of our customers, Chicken Barn. 
six fast food locations. They're doing a million dollars a month in revenue and they were losing $50,000 per month. Huh? Right? Seems a little backwards. But what a lot of businesses see is as they grow, their cost infrastructure grows. So as you grow your revenue, that doesn't actually necessarily make you more profitable. So they've had two huge wins with Starfish. Number one, they saved $20,000 in the first 30 days in the platform. $20,000. One of their six locations, I'll, I'll tell one of the quick stories. One of their six locations decreased their utilities bill by $1,000 a month. So they had no idea that one of their locations is spending 3X the other location on utilities. Had no idea. We gave them a task. They went to the location. Turns out, and a lot of us live in Florida, we know how it goes. The kitchen was leaving the back door open and the air conditioning on all day. It sounds silly, right? They closed the back door. The utilities bill literally went down $1,000 a month. <laughs> And that had been going on for a year. And then the second thing is, and we know this, most restaurants don't really do budgeting and forecasting. So Starfish was actually able to completely automate their 2024 budgeting. What we did is we used AI to take in all of their historical data, give them a forecast for the year. They made some tweaks. They want to invest here. They don't want to invest here. And in one or two hours, we got their budget done for the year. Any questions before I hop into an actual like quick five minute demo of the platform? Okay, so I'm gonna share my screen. Now you guys should see a, you should see the actual Starfish dashboard. Is that right? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. We see it. Right, yeah, we cool. see it. It's small, so, we see it. All right, cool, let me zoom in then. Yeah. Is that a little bit better? Yeah. Yes. All right, cool. So when you first log in, this is your dashboard. You can see profit over time, expenses over time, revenue over time, all from here. If I just go to a date range, let's just do March. We're only going to see data for there. I can choose different locations. So if you've got multi-location customers, you can set them up from here. And then we have our wins and our losses down here. Really quick and easy. What categories are improving and what got worse? So look at this. So floor mats and linens, as an example, went up 286%. Look at paper purchases, up 800% or $3,400. And if you click on it, we'll bring you right here. And not only can you see red is bad, green is good, but you can actually click and see all of the transactions right from here. So our goal is to make really simple reporting, right? So you don't have to go line by line in QuickBooks, trying to find details. Everything is right here for you. What our customers have been liking the most are two primary things. Number one are our reports. So if you go to financial insights, if you're a multi-location, all of a sudden now you can compare multiple locations side by side, not just as a dollar overview, but as a percent of sales, how you're performing a budget, so you can actually see your food cost, your labor cost, each location side by side. And you can also see how these are trending and changing over time. The last 10 weeks, last 15 months, last four years, we've got a ton of historical data. And all of a sudden we can see, all right, is our food cost going up or down over time? The real magic behind Starfish though, are our tasks. So you can do all this reporting, but the tasks are really where we've been seeing the most success. Because if I go here to the dashboard, I'm gonna see my tasks here. So let's take a look at this task. And these are all automatically generated by AI and get emailed out to you. This is review college dishwashing. College is one of their locations. Here to date, college has spent $1,425 on dishwashing. Your 2024 budget for dishwashing is 1440. All right, so something doesn't add up, right? It's May 3rd and they've already spent their whole year. And then it actually digs into the supplier and what they're projected to go over budget. Now, a restaurant can see this manually if they want to, but it takes a ton of time and a ton of digging. What we've been doing is automating this for our customers. 
sending them emails so they can actually go take action in real life. We're working both with restaurant owners and operators and with their bookkeepers to try to save time on manual data analysis and just save money in terms of costs. What we're also trying really hard to do is, I think there's a ton of restaurant software out there that takes a lot of time to set up. And you almost feel like you're working for the software. One of the great things about Starfish is it takes 10 minutes to set up. You integrate your accounting system, that's it. We handle the rest of it. Um, that's really everything I wanted to go through. Again, Starfish, we use AI to automate your P&L analysis and we act as your restaurant controller that overlooks your books 24 seven. Happy to answer any and all questions. Um, I posted a question there. Uh, Jordan, thank you for that. That's really interesting. This is Pamela. Um, just so we know, uh, now that I'm ramping up, I want to make sure that, you know, I'm on target with what is your perfect client. So what does your perfect or your sweet spot uh, clients look like size wise, et cetera? Great question. Um, so right now we're working with like one location all the way up to 50 or 60 locations. I would say our sweet spot is the like three to 20 range. That's where we've seen the biggest success and the biggest results. So single locations get an immediate ROI very quickly, but we've seen the biggest success with like three to 20 locations. Okay. And mainly restaurants, that's your market? Right now, 90% of our customers are restaurants. So we definitely okay. have non-restaurants, but 90% of our customers are restaurants. Well, I'm 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 going 100% into that market with some of my food manufacturers as well myself because this group yep. has been so beneficial. So, um, yeah, that's great. I'll uh, I'll be in touch soon. Awesome, thank you, Pamela, and I'm happy you're feeling better. Thank you so much, Jordan. Me too. Okay, uh, uh, I have two questions. Please. Um, one is uh, uh, in regards to what is involved for a restaurant to set up. Yeah. So we're trying to have setup be really easy. So all the setup that's required is if you go to settings here and you go to integrations, you can add an integration. And then all you do is let's say you're using QuickBooks or something else. You just press connect to QuickBooks, log into QuickBooks one time, and that's it. We sync every day automatically from there. That's great. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah. All right. Okay. So then the next question is, because you were talking about the page, the page where it talked about uh, the profits and the losses. Yeah. So, does, so, you know, every, every company is going to go through what I call growing pains. So as they're, let's say they're increasing their sales, is that was, and, and I didn't really see it clearly enough um, just because you were kind of skimming over it, but is it, does it include like a, a, a with there's, there being an increase in, in their products, they need more products. So, or is it just an increase in what they're paying? Great question. Almost all of the reporting we do okay. right. is looking <laughs> at percent of sales. So that's where that's where our customers have been the happiest is being able to run things where they can actually look at everything as a percent of sales. Because I agree with you. Like obviously, the more you sell, the more you buy. And especially as you have different businesses in different locations, it's not always even. So being able to see everything as a percent of sales is where our customers have been liking it the most. And most of the tasks that get generated by AI are running on top of things as a percent of sales, not just as a flat dollar amount. Awesome. Yeah. Do Great you, questions. Do you charge a fee or do you get a percentage of the savings? We are just charging a per month, per location, flat fee. Um, we are more than happy to entertain taking percent of savings, but we've just found that that can be more expensive and we don't want to, we don't want to penalize you for us saving you more money. We'd rather just save as much as possible. Anybody else have any questions? 
What kind of price range is it in? Yeah. For location. Yeah. Right now, it costs fifty dollars per month per location. Cheap. We're trying to be on the lower end. Yeah, and that that price will increase as we go. But right now, it's fifty dollars per month per location, and we'll always grandfather pricing for our clients. We'll never increase pricing for existing clients. But our goal, John, is to get to the point where we can charge a few hundred dollars per month per location. But right now, super simple, fifty dollars per month per location. That's certainly reasonable. Yeah. Jordan, you should partner with Kevin's company. So when your AI comes up and they're paying too much for their, their food, it gets them a lead, you get a commission, they get a commission. I mean, this could be a win. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. I know Kevin, I know Kevin was on a call and hopped off. We've already, we already have one customer we're working on together. Guy. Yeah, no, yeah, I say you awesome. should you should make that a part of it. It would be a yep. win-win for you guys. Yeah, we already we we already have one customer that we've identified that is just spending way too much money on packaging. Um and I re reached out to Kevin and Chris and made the intro. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that we can work together on that one because Darren and I totally agree. What we really <laughs> want to do is like how can we be like the eyes and ears and flag things for you and then have partners that can actually help you take actions to go make a difference. As I say, for us, if you see their phone bills skyrocketing, that's something we can definitely help them with. Phone and let's, internet. Let's sync off. Let's let, yeah. let, let's sync because we uh we see that very often where they're using something like Comcast or TW Business yeah. or AT and T, and it's just out of control for what their revenue is. Yep. I just want to comment. I think this is great, especially for the restaurants who are using a rental program, because so many times. They, they get caught up and they don't understand like these hidden fees. So that's going to be really interesting to see how you can affect that, that business, because for them to get a $2,000 check back, that's big money. A lot of money. Yeah. That's awesome. Wonder yeah, if thank you, you. Could you set it up to do like our phone bill and our uh, internet bills to have AI run it and figure out how we could save <laughs> money there? Now that would be. Yeah. So like what we're, we, we do that for the businesses, right? So for like the businesses, like I'll just give you an example. Like we are able to say like, Hey, your phone bill is this much. There's other providers that could be cheaper and like give links. So we're able to do that, but we're focused on B2B versus yeah. individuals for sure. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think individuals would benefit from it. For uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There yep. was somebody in the group a while back who was doing that for individuals, but it didn't work for him. Yeah. To be in the group. Yeah. Gotcha. Great. I think it's great, Jordan. Awesome. awesome. Appreciate Thank it. you, everyone. I appreciate the support. Okay, could you give me back the screen? Absolutely. There you go. Thank oh, yeah. you. you know, that, that was a, a very uh, enlightening presentation. I, uh, uh, easy to understand and i guess the, the the platform is easy to work as well so that's that's great i always like the, the kiss method listen i think ai is something that's like very scary and foreign to a lot of people and we're trying to make it very simple you integrate we send you notifications there's some data behind it well great thank you very much <laughs> AI, they get the benefit. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you for doing that. We appreciate it. And because he did that, it should be easier for people in the group to contact him and work with him uh, with your clients. And that's what we're here for, to help each other. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, let's get, do our intros, and uh, Darren, why don't you start us off? Okay, good morning, everybody. Darren Gull, Tracy.net. We take the aches and pains out of phone and internet services, so we have very industry-specific products that we market, as well as custom design solutions. I mean, no client is too big or small. We do an in-depth analysis analysis of what your current situation is and try and solve any problems that exist. Uh, we're master agents for just about every carrier out there. So regardless of uh, what a person has, um, we can probably help 
<laughs> and we do that consulting form. I like to say we take the, hey, Pamela, could you mute? We yes. take the aches and pains out of uh, going through that maze of carrier haze because I, it is so overwhelming when you're trying to make a decision. If you don't have a, a background in telecom, it's hard to understand how the offerings compare. And that's where we come in to help you guide, guide you through that. So it's tracy.net. It's traci.net. You can reach us at sales at tracy.net or toll free at 800-881-8899. Great. Thank you. Helen, good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm Helen Gottesman, president of Delicious Spoonfuls, Florida Incorporated, a nonprofit creating ice cream parties, large and small, while creating training and employment for people with special needs, including autism, Down syndrome, and a host of other problems, challenges. And uh, we've done events for as few as 10, as many as 100, 150 people. And we are looking to create more events and, and fundraisers. And we're looking to do more. Any ideas, please give me a call, 561-676-2078, Helen at deliciousspoonfuls.org. When you, do an, to you. when you when you do an event, do you sell the ice cream to individual people, or do you have a fee? We do it organizer? either of two ways: either the host pays in advance for doing the event, and we right. did a right. we did a happy hour for over a hundred people in East Boca about a month ago, and that was fine. Another way we do it is we all offer ice cream scoops or cones for set price to everybody who walks up. So we could do it either way. I prefer having the host pay because it's less stress. Yeah, contact GL Homes. When they open up their facilities, they, they have- That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. All right, uh, thank you. Terry Ark, good morning. Good morning. Um, Howard, is it possible that I could share my screen for just a second? Absolutely. Oops. <sighs> Go ahead. Okay, is it there? Okay. Um, I don't see it. I, I, is it? Not no? yet. Not yet. <laughs> Wait a minute, hold on. I have it on, so it's not showing it. Okay. Um, okay. Anyway, I I wanted to uh, to talk about something that I had mentioned previously, um, because I actually got some samples of this thing. There it um, is. If you look in the back. You it's can look behind, behind you, me. yeah. Yeah. Um, this this is a, a a cool idea for uh, any type of restaurant that or, or anybody that's doing any type of catering. The shirts themselves. I actually got samples. The shirts themselves. It's not like a dye sublimation. It's like a. It's almost like a tie dye. But what the what the company does is they not only just do a logo on it, but they like here's an example of one for a Seven Eleven. And if you look, look through the, the pictures, there you can see uh, the 7-Eleven sign, you can see the Slurpee, you can see um, the ice cream cone, you can see all kinds of different things. So this is great for um, any type of any company that maybe want to promote their different um, uh, menu items, you know, you could do a different... Uh, maybe name, name the different menu items that are like their top sellers or something. And then on top of that, not only can you do this tie dye, but you can actually do imprinting on it, the left chest, like an, like an embroidery or screen print, which actually enhances it as well. I just thought this was very cool. Um, they do not uh, fade. What's the fabric, Terry? The fabric, okay. these are cotton. These are cotton. Yeah. yeah. But it's a different it. type of it's a different type of um, uh, method of uh, doing some uh, things on some t-shirts. 
Are they much more expensive than the typical <laughs> t-shirt? Um, that their minimum is 72. Um, okay. their, their pricing is, um, uh, it's actually really not that bad. Uh, but, uh, we can kind of discuss a little details of that afterwards if you want. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I've been in the promotional products industry for over 20 years. Um, so do all kinds of different things with, um, anything that you want to put your company logo on and my information is in the chat. Terry, do you guys do NFC pens? I had someone reach out to me about it on LinkedIn where like you take your pen, you take your promo pen, you tap it on your phone and it brings up a website automatically. They actually just came out. Um, I have ordered a sample. I'm, sh I'm supposed to get it Monday. Okay. I want to yeah. hear about it next week if that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay, cool. That's a okay. cool idea. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's great for a trade show. That's exactly yeah. what I was thinking, Howard. Is like go to yeah. a trade show, have pens at the booth, and just like tap, tap, tap. Yeah, yeah. they just yeah. came out. Uh, I, we had a we had a trade show that we did uh, a couple weeks ago, um, and they had the sam they had the samples there, and um, I just ordered. Uh, I'm supposed to have them on Monday. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. So, Jordan, okay. you're saying there's a lot of potential there. Yeah. Da -da. <laughs> 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 Leave it to Darren. All right, let's go to Terry Lena. Good morning, everyone. Terry Lena, Workwear Outfitters. We manufacture multiple brands of workwear, front of the house, back of the house, under Red Cap and Dickies. We also work with our distributor partners to find the best solution for you, whether you need a rental partner or a direct seller. You can reach me at 720-244-4972. Be happy to talk to you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Stephanie, good morning. I'm coming, give me a second. <laughs> Hi everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sneak in breakfast. <laughs> yes, <laughs> listening in, eating some breakfast. Um, I am Stephanie with Brilliant Computers. My father, Mark, and I, um, we run the company together. We provide uh, remote and on-site services for all things IT. Um, I always like to say, when in doubt, reach out. If you're getting emails that look suspicious, give us a call. If um, your computer is just running slower than you're used to, or you just really are not too sure if maybe there is something that your computer could be doing better, right? Uh, we're here to help. Um, yesterday, we were even on site with a client, helping him update um, everybody who he has uh, like subscriptions with or, or services with to update his new email address. Um, you know, uh, we're, we're really here for, for anything, any software and hardware support that you need. Um, we can, like I said, on site and remote. If you would like to see a list of all the services we, can provi we provide, <clears throat> you can go to our website at brilliantcomputers.com. Um, you can email support at brilliantcomputers.com. That'll open up a ticket if you um, need technical support. And uh, our number is 561-877-1119. Um, I also have a new work number. If you ever want to reach me directly, it's 561-975-7422. Uh, uh, so anytime, give us a call. We're happy to help. I was online yesterday on Facebook, and I, I don't know what happened. I don't know what I clicked on. Or what, it wasn't something weird, because I'm, I'm pretty good at catching the, the spam stuff. But uh, all of a sudden, my whole screen came up. There was a message from uh, Microsoft that it yeah. had frozen my computer. And I Yeah, so what those are called are rogue websites, and they're like crazy right now they're all over the place mark said he got five calls yesterday on them so what happens is is i mean they can intercept um a link they can they, they're it's i don't even understand how it works but it'll pop up on your screen it'll start blaring an alarm at you and it'll tell you that if you don't call them that you'll lose right. access to all of your data right right what you do is you just go ahead and x out your browser Go to your task manager and end, you know, if you're in Chrome, end the task for Chrome. Um, if you need help on how to do that, 
I can help you either remotely or just walk you through it. Then when you go to open up your browser again, and I suggest rebooting the computer, um, the, it will pop up on the top right in Chrome, especially. Do you want to restore your pages? Hit no. Then go into your history and clear all your browsing history. So that way, not only did you not restore it, but you've cleared it out of your history and moving forward, you know, it, it just know, don't call that number. Um, Mark just cleaned up a computer. We picked it up um, from the client. He said, yeah, you know, my wife let someone in and, you know, because we were afraid we're going to lose all our data. Well, they, he had to clean out viruses. I mean, they are sometimes, honestly, I don't even know what they're like looking for by this. It's, I don't need, I, I don't know. All I know is, is that we can clean it up. You can go ahead and close it. You're not going to lose your data. It's just trying to scare you and just trying to trick you into calling that number and letting them into your computer. And most of the time they install some kind of um, remote access software that allows them, similar to what we do with your permission, um, it allows them to access your computer and your data at any time without your approval. I just well, closed Facebook and, and it went away. away. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Gabby, good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, uh, everyone. Gabby with Worksite PEO. We're a full service, a professional employer organization. Uh, what that means is that we'll do your payroll, payroll taxes, workers comp, uh, 401k, and HR consultation. The entire back office, so basically a plug and play HR uh, for restaurants and um, hospitality and, and um, trade, trade skills. We're very good at uh, processing tax credits that uh, the uh, business owner might not know that they qualify, specifically for restaurants. One that is very popular that a lot of people on mind blown that don't know about is the FICA the tax credit. Um, I had a client recently, 30 employees, they qualify for a, a, up to $45,000 of tax credit. Um, we go above and beyond and just processing it. We actually give you a quarterly advance um, so that you can have additional cash Utilize that money for whatever you want, a vacation, uh, additional growth, whatever you need or you want. Um, Gabby with Worksite PEO, 561-479-7474. Great. Uh, Sean, good morning. Sorry, I'm taking up on you. Good morning. Thank you, guys. It's nice to see everybody. Um, I own a recruiting company and work with a lot of uh, restaurants like hotels, hospitality, and in getting them um, staff. What's interesting for my business is um, I had a restaurant group in the East Coast, very high end, um, say to me, we're a little frustrated because we're not confirming these guests for our steakhouses and people aren't showing up and we're having all these problems and we need someone to call, but I don't want to pay somebody here in the U.S. to do it. I said, no problem, let's see what we can do. We found somebody in the Philippines to do that for them. And they're so thrilled because this person was also previously an accountant working in their back office too. So I'm just always looking for creative ways to help my clients and um, save money. And they told me that based on the amount that they're getting charged by me and the other person that they have to hire locally, they're saving 60% of what they normally would be paying, which is huge. Um, so I'm, I'm super happy about that. Um, again, I'm looking to help any of your clients or any people you may know that are having staffing issues. We don't only do like sous chefs or let's say, for example, um, dishwashers, we do um, managers or people for their accounting, all different types of positions. Um, and um, I'm also willing to do it on trade. So like we just had a hotel group in Pismo Beach and they said to me, look, things are sort of tight with us right now. Would you be willing to take trade um, to help us get some staff? I said, yes. So um, if you have customers that are tight on cash and they're just having a difficult time, which happens in the restaurant industry because things ebb and flow, I mean, it's just the way it works. Um, we're happy to work with them any way we can. I mean, it's the, the guy that I took trade with, he was joking with me on a farm and saying, can you trade me some chickens for you know, or, you know, your services or something like that, but old, old school thinking, right? I'm just definitely um, willing to help any business any way I can and love being a matchmaker. So thank you, Howard. 
Thank you. Um, my column this month in our May issue was all about barter. So it's interesting. Good. I'm going to have to read that. I'm going to look at that article. That's really cool. It's in the, uh, I think it's page two or three of the paper. Um, I'm not just, I just, three, I just not usually a barter person, but the best part about this hotel that I took on is his wife and the general manager personally invited me to dinner at his house with my wife and my family because they were so grateful. So honestly, like, I feel sometimes when you barter, you really get to know the person so much better. And it's such a lovely thing. So right. I'm really excited about this. I don't know. I just thought I'd show that. Right. I, I read an article yesterday. I, I don't remember if I, I sent it to you or not, but I'm going to, what do you think about this? The, the one about uh, employ, employers are now looking in certain industries. I'm not, I'm not saying the food service industry, but certain companies are trying to increase the work week to six days a week rather than five and uh, against the trend of four that everybody was talking about before. Yeah, the food service industry, you know, they won't, have, well, I don't know. It happened. I mean, chefs and, and cooks, they probably work six days anyway, but. <laughs> but and what do you think about that, Sean? Is that is that something that's coming or happening or? For that, but we have heard of people working 12 hour shifts and um, to come in less because of them wanting to get more time. So instead of working five days a week, they're working 12 hour days. And usually they're set up in the beginning or clean up and stuff. And it, it's worked well with some of my um, restaurant groups that we've worked with, particularly some of the higher end, because there's a lot more setup that has to happen in the beginning. Um, so I, I think that's great. If you can add more family time, I'd like to go the other way and give that time. But I know Stephanie's going, yes, give that back to the people that, and, you know, just be more efficient if we can. But I'm, who knows? I mean, I hope not. Power. I think every <laughs> everybody on, everybody here works six days at least, maybe eight. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I'm I grateful that. that I get to work at home <laughs> because I think about, you know, if I were having to go to work in person only and that I couldn't get anything done, you know, I, I mean, I can jump in remotely to one of our established clients from my phone, wherever I am. I've been at my daughter's gym class, you know, and it's, it's obviously there's going, there's going to be times where you say, Hey, you know, is this like urgent or what can I do right now to get you functional? Let's follow up in a little bit once I'm back in front of the computer, but I take care of people at random times throughout my day. Um, but I think about like, if I was having to go somewhere to work and, you know, what if my kid got sick and then, you know, I now can't be at work and, and I know that a lot of people have to work in person. And I think that between just also thinking about the personal things we have to deal with insurance, but you calls, can't like, that works for IT, but like if you're a chef, somebody has to cook the food, right? Somebody yeah. has to bring the food to the person. I mean, so I, I can't really see eliminating like the in-person for the, my exactly. restaurant no, customers. And so, but if I only worked four days and my husband only worked four days, the ability for us to right. either one of us be available if something were to come up, you know, I mean, it it makes it a little easier to say like, oh, I have to go to work now. Someone else can, you know, or I can plan these doctor's appointments for the days that I already have off, you know. But if I had a five-day work week and I'm always working, you know, Tuesday through Saturday and on Mondays for whatever reason my doctor's office is closed now it's like it just a four-day work week with at least one you know maybe two days during the week off um would allow people to be able to take care of their personal and still actually show up for those four days of work is what I'm saying what I just Howard I, and I'll look for this thing that I can share with the group but there's this um I visited this catering um, place in Northern California and they share all of their numbers with all their employees. And literally um, it helps incentivize them to think about how they can um, profit the business and then share some of that profit that's left over. The cool thing about that is talking about the 12 hour day, it's all about being more efficient and treating the business better. So the employees, so I think that's a really cool concept. I'll try to get the name of this um sharing profit thing that i saw but i don't know if people are willing to do it we do it in my business where we share our numbers with our employees 
And we helped, and it made us nervous in the beginning, but we helped them realize, look, we're all in this together and we really have to, you know, try to think how can we help the business try to make more money so we can take care of everyone better and they're invested more. So if if that means a four day week or sometimes maybe a six day week, because maybe we're just going to make more money, we have to, whatever. But I think it has to be that all in mentality that we're all sort of in that team. And, you know, we're going to do what we can to, to make that business more profitable. That's what I'm, I see the most successful businesses doing, in my opinion now. Well, I, I welcome a six day work week. Cause like I said, I'm working eight. My phone's uh, ringing on a Saturday all the time. I think, you know, so I, I would say, you know, Mark and I are, are definitely like a seven, you know, day a week thing. If there's an emergency, you know, we'll help you, you know, but mm -hmm. I definitely try my best to give as much time to my family as possible. And thankfully people, you know, do respect that, but I do, you know, I think it's important also to, to have that time for your family however you can do that as long as like you know as sean kind of said that the needs for the company are being met and that the clients that are coming are being fed right like you need someone there no well, i'll guarantee yeah, you good. that the bun family worked seven, seven days a week go ahead Is john you're up Pretty, pretty much, but uh, actually for our shop, we have been on a 410 since 1989. Uh, we utilize uh, Fridays as makeup time if they have car trouble or they have, have an appointment they can't make on a Friday, then Fridays are days to make up that time so they get their 40 hours at least. Uh, as for the family, uh, myself and others, uh, no, we're here. Pretty much five days a week. By the end of Thursday, I've got probably 60 hours in minimum. Uh, but that's what you do when you own a business. Right. Uh, with that being said, behind me, uh, we manufacture the bun tying machine. We tie boxes, printed materials, pork roast, beef roast, anything you can think of with twine. Uh, we've just developed a 100% cotton twine that's completely environment friendly. Our other twines are, but they do have some polyester for strength. But the twine today that we've developed uh, is 100% cotton is actually stronger than the poly cotton blends that are out there. Um, our knot is called a bun knot. It cannot be duplicated by hand under tension load. So what does that mean? It means that for delivery drivers, they can't get into the food and eat the food and retie that knot. So you have a visual sense of security on this. If the twine's there and the knot is like it's supposed to be, you know it's not been tampered with. Uh, you're more than welcome to give us a call at 1-800-222-BUN. Our website is buntyco.com. That's spelled B-U-N-N-T-Y-C-O.com. And our email is info at buntyco.com. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Kevin, good morning. Good morning, guys. Hello, everybody. Uh, Kevin here from Strategic Supply Chain Partners. We are a full-service hospitality consulting company. We specialize in small and medium-sized hospitality groups, uh, and primarily 70% of what we do is to help them with how they're structured in their distribution agreements with their broad line distributors. Uh, once we get them into a much more uh, financially productive relationship, uh, we get into manage manufacturer deviated pricing by dealing directly with the manufacturers of products that they bring into distribution. Uh, we also work on rebating programs. Uh, on behalf of our clients as well. Uh, currently, we're saving our clients around a little over 10% average in their distribution costs. Uh, for example, if somebody's spending a million dollars a year with a distributor, we're going to save them $100,000. Uh, and that number obviously changes as we get further into the relationship. Uh, we also help them with a lot of other profit and loss statement items, uh, profit and loss items on their P&L. Uh, so we are adding value in a number of other categories. Uh, I would like to just compliment Jordan on your uh, presentation. And one of the things that I would certainly say with uh, what he does and to what some cases what we do, 
one of the biggest things we see is our clients get into these relationships uh, in their purchasing arrangements with distributors, and they have really don't understand really the dynamics of that relationship. They don't have a way to manage how prices go up and down. They don't even see it in many cases. Uh, they're spending money sometimes exponentially in certain categories that had no idea that there was going to be a jump in a particular commodity or the distributor took a jump in pricing or a manufacturer took a jump in pricing and they find that out, you know, six, seven, eight months, nine months later, if ever. And it cost them an enormous amount of money over the course of that time. And uh, so we help with really man not only putting them into an agreement, but managing monthly, weekly, daily, in some cases, uh, all of that data uh, and making sure that the, the manufacturers and the distributors are being compliant to the agreement and the client is being compliant to the agreement at the same time. Uh, if you want to find out more about us, give me a call at 407-497-9495 or visit us at www.sscp.partners. Thanks, hey, guys. Thank you. Pam, are you well, with us? All right. Uh, we do. Uh, I'm Howard Appel. I'm the founder and publisher of Today's Restaurant News since 1996. And uh, I hope that most of you know that we started a new uh, feature in our newspaper, which is the city highlight. And this month, uh, Charlotte, North Carolina is our featured city. And John Marinek is our featured company in the centerfold spread. And John has an ad in that uh section as well as the, as does uh, somebody from our nine o'clock group uh next month we're featuring atlanta and the week after that i mean sorry the month after that we're doing huntsville and i, I forget what else we have but we we're trying to spread the spread it around the country so so uh, everybody seems to be happy with that and did I miss anybody? Miss Pam well, didn't get to talk, but she wasn't there. What's that? Pam was the only one that didn't get to talk, but. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, I guess that brings us to the end of the meeting. I thank you all for coming. Good time. Uh, have a great weekend. And let this all.